I think the worst part about all this is that now it's really clear that the the Bar of Ireland is going to uh, buy into um, Ruth Cannon's um, fraud and uh, help her try and suppress evidence and uh, destroy evidence. And, and <coughs> I think that's um, that's just really depressing. It's like uh, Justice Holland or. Uh, or the other justices I dealt with while I was filing the injunction against uh, Gardaí fraud and abuse with Root. I mean, they presented false instruments, they committed perjury. Um, Root's known as audio um, contradicting her uh, sworn evidence in the district court for two years before she made that testimony. She's, it's, she's had it played for her. Like, so there's... Uh, uh, Roots heard audio of Root uh, telling me repeatedly, doggedly, to cause distress that uh, Terry Madden, social worker, didn't abuse me as a child for no reason other than to just cause distress. Roots heard the audio. Roots seen the um, fact that I have evidence uh, regarding um, the fact that it was Root who uh, contacted me first and invited contact, both email and via open Twitter and um, direct message. Instead, Root Cannon likes to lie in court and say that open Twitter is a direct message um, because she wants to try and pull the wool over her eyes or misrepresent or because Root thinks that judges are stupid. Um, and there's rec audio recordings of, of that as well. Uh, but now, as we can see today, we, we have a very clear um, message or MO or, or that the, the Bar of Ireland will now step in to help Root Cannon commit crimes and lie. And uh, that, that should be concerning to anyone who's watching this or listening. And also the fact that for some reason, Root Cannon had to make what was going through, I was going through with the guardy, the torture and the sexual assault and the false imprisonment that I suffered. Root had to make it all about her. I don't know whether that's because John Ryan was abusing her, which, you know, that's not me lying. This, I've, I've put audio up of, of Root repeatedly saying that John Ryan was abusing her and that John Ryan was, uh, that she was in an ab uh, abusive relationship with John Ryan. Um, none of it, none of this is invented. None of it's a lie. There's everything I say, there's audio to back up. But I don't know whether it was because um, of the abusive relationship with John Ryan. I don't know whether it's because Root Cannon is a sociopath. I don't know whether it's because, as people have pointed out, they think that Root Cannon had some sort of weird crush or, 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 or obsession with me, or whether it's all of those things. But I just know that Root Cannon has had to make all of this about Root Cannon. Like some strange, failed narcissist. Weird. I don't know. I mean, it's hard to know where the truth begins or ends with, with, with Root Cannon and her legal colleagues. Donald Quigley called her, um, said her career was failed. Donald Quigley said that Root Cannon, it was a, it was a, a joke that she uh, was still a junior counsel. Donald Quigley said that uh, she wasn't liked down the courts. Donald Quigley said a lot. He also said that her colleagues down in the four courts referred to her as loose cannon. And that uh, Root Cannon only only got work in rural courts. So I don't know whether that's that's the reason. Um, but Root Cannon has had to make everything about Root Cannon. Um, and... Due to her obsession with my uh, historic child abuse, um, that's where the uh, the pro paedophilia thing comes in, because in making it all about Root Cannon, and that's what Root Cannon wanted, um, Root Cannon has enabled paedophiles to a point where you have to wonder if that's what. Um, What's going on between herself and John Ryan? Is that why John Ryan is so obsessed with paedophilia? It's what's, what's, you know, it, 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 that asks questions. Why is Ruth Cannon so obsessed with uh, obstructing um, criminal complaints into child abuse and paedophilia? What, what, what's going on there? But I don't know. All I know is, is that she has uh, stepped forward uh, to routinely obstruct and uh, destroy my, my life with abuse. 
Um, every point on the stand and to the guards, the canon was meddling with my family, um, uh, speaking for them, um, meddling with my relationship with solicitors. It was Ruth Cannon that told me that Michael Hanaho, um had dementia and was going senile. So every little bit of everything Ruth Cannon has made about herself. Um, this is including the fact that like, what the Bar of Ireland is uh, endorsing is a, is a creepy woman who used to uh, or accidentally turn on her camera on Skype in various stages of undress. Like, that's really creepy. And um, I know that Ruth Cannon always just denies this, but, like, why would I make that up? I, like, oh, like the, the, the accidentally turning on the camera repeatedly while in an in, in open dressing gown. That's the creepiest stuff. Or uh, <coughs> unbuttoning her top when, when she was in my apartment uh, when my back was turned. Um... Like, just creepy. But that's what the Bar of Ireland is backing. Um, a creepy woman obsessed with paedophile and uh, into making everything about herself while trying to push vulnerable people to suicide. And I'll get to that. Because I, I think what the interesting part is that Ruth Cannon has forgotten that there's recordings of phone calls we had um, just before I attempted suicide. So, uh, you know, this is uh, this is what the Bar of Ireland vouches for and backs and is trying to help suppress the evidence for. This is what Justice Holland was helping when he tried to block Ruth Cannon's name from a court record. They're just helping a psychopath.